Hello and welcome to this video where it's going to be all about chat GPT and business analysis. This is going to be good if you have any type of business as it is, or if you're looking to start one, you can enter in some information about what you're doing or what you're going to be doing to get some more ideas, break it down a little bit more and go from there. Here's what I have in the prompt down below. I'd like to analyze my YouTube channel called Marketing Island. I have over 600 videos and ideally do four, four days every week, four videos who was writing that one? I think this is what happens when you do too much work and your brain just starts putting words in incorrect spots and flop flipping them around. Traffic has been growing, but what else can I do to increase traffic leads and sales? Okay, so that's a simple question. And I'm going to give you some examples off the top of my head. If you're all about SEO, you could kind of say, hey, I have like a thousand articles. I'm getting backlinks. I'm optimizing, optimizing them. What else can I do to help increase my traffic or my sales? Okay, and so on and so forth. So we're just asking questions here. Obviously, we could give some more information about maybe specific numbers, but let's keep it uh, pretty broad at the time. All right, so we got a good amount of ideas here. So there are several things that you can do to increase traffic leads and sales on your channel. So optimize your video titles, descriptions, and tags for SEO to make it easier. Create a consistent content calendar. Okay, that's a pretty good one. I know for a lot of people, heck, not just for YouTube, doing anything consistently can be very helpful. It's, I, I think a lot of people kind of fall off when it comes to, I'm going to be doing this. They do it for a day. They're excited. They do it for another. And then like they miss a day and they're like, damn, it's kind of like going to the gym and then you just never return. Okay. Uh, promote your videos on other platforms. Uh, create a call to action at the end of each video to encourage viewers to do a specific action. Leverage YouTube's features such as end screens and annotations. Create a landing page on your website to collect leads. Collaborate with other YouTubers. Use analytic tools to track your performance. Consider creating a membership program. Use the YouTube studio to create a YouTube branding watermark. So we're looking at our business. We're analyzing it. So this is going to go through obviously where you need to think about your business and say, what can I do? What can I do better? And if you're not familiar with something, we can obviously take something and put it in. I already have a pretty consistent uh, content calendar. So what I'm going to do, give me a sec. I'm just going to rewrite this and then uh, I'll get back to you. So how can I create a consistent content calendar and stick to it? What do you suggest for my YouTube channel? So uh, overall, like I talked about, it's an analysis. We're giving as much information as we can. And then going from there, it's kind of like talking to someone. So if someone was talking to you about your YouTube channel, you're asking them the question, you know, this is what I have. This is what I do. Probably would give them a little bit more information, right? As if you were consulting with someone, they say, well, here's several ways uh, you can increase your traffic leads and sales. And then from there, if you were having that conversation with someone, you say, you know, there's a lot of these great ones right here. Some of these I'm doing some a little, some I need to be doing more, but what about when it comes to creating a consistent content calendar and sticking to it? What do you suggest for my YouTube channel? When you're using chat GPT or any other AI tech technology, you want to think of it as, or at least some chat technology, right? You want to think of it like a conversation. If you don't understand something, ask a question. If you want more information, dive deeper. If you have what you want, that's usually where it ends, right? Okay. Thank you so much. Handshake. Have a nice day. High five. Let's get our prompt or uh, response. Oh no, chat GPT crashed. Okay. It was funny because it was writing a lot of it and it's like, no, sorry, I can't complete it. So what I want to do, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to reword it, open up a new chat. All right, so I put the same thing. I just, what do you suggest for my marketing YouTube channel? Let's uh, roll with it again. All right, so I'm actually going to talk as it's going over. So it is writing this time. It did the same thing and it it wrote a lot of content and it's like, nope, can't do it. But, you know, that's Chad GPT. Uh, I'll just reiterate that I know there's been a lot of comments and here it is again. So sorry, I can't complete that response. Chat GPT seems to be going a little bit crazy right now. So let me try it one more time with a, a different uh, prompt. Give me one second. <clears throat> All right. So how often do you recommend posting on YouTube to stay consistent? All right. So we got some content. I'll read it in case it goes. The frequency at which you should post on YouTube to stay consistent depends on your audience and the type of content you produce. There you go. Chat GPT always, always taking the, uh, I don't know how to phrase that, but it's a good answer. I'll just say that. Some creators post daily, while others may post once a week or even less frequently. A good rule of thumb is to post regularly and consistently, whether that means daily, weekly, or even monthly. It's also important to consider the production time for each video and make sure you're able to create content at a sustainable pace. Ultimately, the key is to find a schedule that works for you and your audience and to stick to it as best as you can. So that's a pretty broad and very good uh, example of a result or just an output that we got there. Because when you think about it, every channel is going to be different. I've seen one 
doing once a week, once a month, you know, once every few weeks. It, it really does depend on a lot of variables, that, but that's going to be up to you. I think if you're a newer channel, like the production is going to be a little bit lower. You can get away with like doing more. As you get bigger, maybe if you want to advance that, you know, you can always do a little bit less. Really depends on how many views you're getting as well. I know that's a big thing for a lot of people, but uh, that's going to be <laughs> kind of concluding there when it comes to business analysis. A little bit of a choppy video based upon what chat GBT kind of stalled a little, but this is how you can kind of give any details and then go over how you can improve, make things better. And once again, I also want to reiterate is that when you're doing this, think of like you're having a chat with a consultant, someone who knows more than you about your specific business. So if you had your YouTube channel, you give the consultant all the information that you can. They say, well, can you can you give me an analysis of my business and how I can improve? And overall, you're going back and forth. You're asking more questions. And that's simply how that works. Hope you got some value out of this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.